This brings up this next one. Uh, what is the perimeter of these two equilateral triangles? First thing uh, I, w I would like to point out is that when you have an object like this and when you have these hash marks going through each side of, a, of an object, what that indicates is that all of the sides that have the hash mark are equal. For example, this means that on this three-sided object, all three sides are equal. And if you had an object like this, and I was to draw a line like this, what that would mean would be that the top and the bottom are equal. Okay, so we're on the same page here. We know that this is, these are, we're given that these are two equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles have all their sides equal. And uh, what they're asking is for the perimeter of these two equilateral triangles. Well, the perimeter would just be uh, this, the outside edge of the object. And we're told that the outside edge equals this, which is 20. So it'd be just simply 20 centimeters uh, times four, which equals 80 centimeters. Let's go on to the next one. The radius of the circle is eight centimeters. What is the approximate circumference? Here they're giving you the radius, which is eight centimeters. They want to know the circumference. Well, the circumference, again, is just this outside edge of the circle. And we're told that circumference equals 2 pi r. So if r is 8, and 2 pi is 2 times 3.14 or 6.28. Then we're looking at a number that is pretty close to uh, 6 times 8 is 48. We're looking at a number very, very close to 50. And 50 is right up there. And 50 is our answer, 50 centimeters. Let's go on to the next. The diameter of a circular plate is 11 and a half inches. What is the radius on the plate in inches? So if this were the di diameter, and the diameter, according to uh, what we have here, is 11.5 inches, the radius equals uh, the diameter, one half of the diameter, R equals diameter divided by 2. So what we have to do is we have to take this 11 and a half inches and divide that by 2. And what we're going to end up with is uh, 5 point seven five inches five point seven five inches which triangle below uh, using the triangle below for question 12 which triangle um, is similar to this one that they were that they have given you in here so we're talking about similarity in triangles the way something is similar is if it has the same ratio and what's ratio just ratio is just that it would have the same multiplier so you have to go through uh, each answer 
on your answer sheet and look for the one that has um, the same multiplier on the first one A on our answer sheet we have a triangle which uh, has four six and 6.8 and we can see that this has a multiplier of 2 we took the 2 times 2 centimeters over here and we get 4 centimeters and we took 2 times the 3 centimeters got 6 centimeters and 6 3 times 6.8 I'm sorry 2 times 3.4 is 6.8 centimeters and that's our answer it would be letter A. Now some of these other ones are worth looking at just for the point of instruction. Um, letter B says 4. Um, 5 and 5.4. Well, if you look at the original, we can see that they've uh, added two. They've gone, they've taken all of the sides and they added two. Well, when you add, you do not maintain similarity. You must multiply. When you add, you do not maintain the, uh, the property of similarity. Uh, a real easy way to show you that would be um, if you had, let's say, two thirds and you add one to both uh, the numerator and the denominator. First, the numerator will add one to that, that would be three. And we take uh, the three and add one to that. We make it four. Well, the two thirds is not similar to three fourths. You added, and what you did was you broke down the relationship from the two thirds. However, if we take this two thirds and we multiply it by the same number, let's say two. equals 4, 6. Here our relationship is the same. These numbers are the same. 2 thirds does not equal 3 fourths. However, we can say that 2 thirds equals 4, 6. So you can go through the rest of those answers. The uh, rest of the answers have something very similar going on. They're either adding or taking away. Uh, the last one, D, uh, they end up with uh, an equilateral triangle, which, not, is, which isn't even the same shape. And once again, on most of these, you can just look at them, uh, look at the answers, and you can pretty well reason out that uh, two out of the four answers that you're going to be looking at don't make any sense at all. Let's move on to the next one. Here we have a quadrilateral. We have two quadrilaterals. They're similar again, which means that uh, they're just, they're, they are the same shape. However, they've been scaled or multiplied by a factor. That's what similarity means. And uh, they're saying that we have this quadrilaterals, two of them are similar, EFGH, which is this uh, right here. And we also have this quadrilateral, uh, WXYZ. And they want to know which segments correspond to FG. 
FG right here. And if you look on, firstly, what you would need to do would be you need to rotate this object down so that the HE line segment, HE was running the same as this horizontally. You would rotate that down. Uh, it looks like, man, if you were to draw normal here, right in perpendicular. This is 90 degrees. Ah, this this might be on the order of, let's say, ah, 75 degrees. So if we brought this down a negative 75 degrees. Be sitting right on this line, same as this line. But having said that, what we have to do is we have to find uh, and uh, find what is sim what the uh, segment corresponds to FG. FG is this this going from this point to this point, and if we look at this, this will be XR segment which corresponds to FG on the larger trapezoid would be XY. XY is the right answer here. And XY happens to correspond with letter D. Letter D on our answer sheet. Let's take a look at the next four points are graphed on a coordinate grid. They want to know which point corresponds or represents the ordered pairs 0, 2. I'm going to write a XY graph, label this as X, label this as Y. Now, on an ordered pair, uh, the first number represents our x value and the second number represents our y value. So we're just going to go to our x value as 0. We're going to go up 2 and this would correspond to the point 0, 2. And this is our answer right here. On our answer sheet that would look like point G. Point G.